So we're gonna take the opposite hand with the opposite foot. Diddle, diddle, dumpling, my son John went to bed with his trousers on. One shoe off and one shoe on. Diddle, diddle, dumpling, my son John. Activities like these that cross the midline develop communication between both sides of the brain, the right and the left hemispheres. The right side gathers and experiments with new ideas and information, while the left side analyzes and organizes that information. As a child develops, the two hemispheres start working more closely together. This book, A Moving Child is a Learning Child by Gil Connell and Cheryl McCarthy, has the best picture of the midlines that I have seen. So it shows both the right and left midline, the top and bottom lip midline, and the front and back midline. So infants start with bilateral movements where both sides are doing the same thing. Cross lateral movements are the most complex and really play a critical role in getting ready for formal learning. So this would be reaching across the body to get something. Um, not turning the trunk, but actually reaching across for something. Successful midline crossing enables little ones to do such tasks as dressing and feeding themselves and academic tasks such as reading and learning to write. Now, providing your child for, with plenty of physical movement opportunity is good. And then for rhymes, the library has books like this one, My Mother Goose by David McPhail, and CDs with nursery rhymes such as this one by Susie Tallman. And you can check these out from the library. So have fun playing with your little one and have a great day.